Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report Daily Roundup. My name is Bryant. Today is Tuesday, September 7th. And here are today's top stories from the world of gaming. First up today, we have a ton of Google Stadia news to talk about, as the platform received two brand new games today, with the top-down survival horror game Darkwood and Katamari Damakai Reroll both arriving on the platform. And look, I know someone in the comment section is going to be like, that's not how you pronounce that game. Shut up, nerd. Stadia Pro players can now claim a brand new game starting tomorrow in the form of PGA Tour 2K21. Now this fantastic golf simulator will be free to claim for all Stadia Pro subscribers starting September 8th. And our final bit of Stadia news is that Madden, NFL 22, and Rainbow Six Siege will be free to play for all Stadia Pro subscribers starting September 9th and lasting through September 13th. Activision dropped a brand new trailer for the multiplayer gameplay of Call of Duty Vanguard. Speaking of trailers, Blizzard dropped a brand new video showcasing Diablo 2's resurrected Necromancer class. Diablo 2 Resurrected will be releasing for PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, and PC on September 23rd of 2021. Remedy Entertainment have announced a remake of Alan Wake with Alan Wake Remastered, and while we don't have a release date, we do know the game will be releasing on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. All Elite Pro Wrestling showed off yet another look at their upcoming console video game, but this time, the showcase included an extended look at a AEW wrestler Jungle Boy. Konami has announced their first football game following the company's splitting way with PES, and today Konami announced eFootball 2022, which will be coming to PlayStation, Xbox, PC, iOS, and Android on September 30th. Developer Team 17 dropped a trailer for their upcoming first-person shooter game Hell Let Loose, which will bring historically accurate maps and 100-player battles. Hell Let Loose will be arriving on Xbox and PlayStation on October 4th of 2021. Focus Home Interactive, the video game publisher who works with studios like Deck 13 and the Arcade Crew, announced today that they would be rebranding as Focus Entertainment moving forward. PlayStation has announced that they will be adding six new games to PlayStation Now for September, with the new lineup of games including the likes of Final Fantasy VII, Tekken 7, and Windbound. And finally for today, the upcoming season of Kratos called Neon Coast received its first trailer, which included a first look at brand new skins, cosmetics, and design tools that will be arriving to Krata on September 8th. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.